3D sketching is a, a much quicker way of not being bound by uh, kind of the more math um, driven models. I would say the advantages of designing in VR as opposed to just like pencil on paper, um, again, it's, it's kind of that ability to, to look at your sketch from different angles, right? So you're not just, you're not locked into this one perspective that you've kind of drawn up on paper. You can, you can take it, you can spin around, you can change the size and orientation. And that allows you again to just, it, it kind of builds on your creativity because you can be like, okay, well, it looks like this from this perspective, but when I turn around, that is not what I expected in a good or negative way. So you can, it, it, it kind of compounds itself. So what's cool about designing in VR in terms of your creativity is that <clears throat> you can you can live with your design for a little bit longer, right? So if you're if you're just starting a sketch and you're noodling it, uh, designers we love to noodle, we love to to play, we love to just to delete and, and start over. Uh, VR is really fun for that, right? You can try an idea. If you don't like it, you can throw it over your shoulder. You can park it out in space. You can try. Uh, a brand new line right in front of you. One of the big benefits of designing in VR in terms of user-centric and customer-centric design is, is we had a moment where we realized you, we can get ourselves into the, into the mind and the body, uh, a virtual body of our customer, right? So tracing ourselves into VR takes our physical self and puts it now into this virtual reality. And because we're operating then at human scale, we're, we're designing at human scale. The vehicle is one-to-one. -one. So everything you create is exactly where it ought to be or where it should be or where it can be. And you can try all kinds of different stuff. I mean, I've done examples where uh, you move, you just reach up and grab the mirror and move it where it should be, right? Because you can see exactly where it should be in space. As we go forward into this uh, designing for mobility solutions, right? Not necessarily automotive or, or even car-like, it it's becomes really key to be able to, to prototype the experiences that our customer is going to have. If they don't have a steering wheel in front of them, we're finding that they get kind of nervous or, or it's strange to not have a steering wheel. So, you know, VR and Gravity Sketch and the fact that you can work at that one-to-one -one scale and the human scale allows you to prototype those experiences. And it's not just how you fit in the vehicle. It's how uh, the vehicle interfaces with its environment, right? The city of the future. And it's really wild because the, the scale-free nature of VR, you can play with the world, right? And, and sort of allow it to speak to you and your design. I may be a little bit biased, but uh, I think doing this type of stuff in VR is really fun. And putting the fun back in the process is never gonna be a bad thing. So Ford Design is experimenting with Gravity Sketch, right, because it's, it's a 3D tool. It's, it's a VR tool that allows you to create things in 3D and we use it to create beautiful design vehicles, cars, mobility solutions into the future. When you're designing in 3D, you can be more human-centered design focused because you're actually full scale in that customer's shoes in the vehicle or outside the vehicle, and you're understanding how things can be tweaked or moved to um, advance around different pain points that you know and understand but maybe you can't properly think through on paper because you don't know how things are through their eyes but once you're in that vehicle you're in that setting you're able to understand like if i get into the car i'm gonna hit my knee on this or like my head's gonna go through the roof so it, the sketch needs to be brought up higher so you're able to go back and tweak things after you've understand and been immersed into that space that the customer is.